Uga Buga. Before we get started with this video, give it a thumbs up, thumbs up, like, 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 it's right there. Bro, we have a couple of dope gaming news items, including the price for the Xbox Series S. That's right, Xbox is coming out with another console. But first, Crash Bandicoot 4 has been leaked. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, let me show you guys the box art. And then the game details. This is the box art. It's going to be titled <coughs> Crash Bandicoot. It's about time. This, it was discovered by a Taiwanese rating board. And this is very reliable. When, the, when stuff goes up on, this happened before with Taiwanese rating boards. Um, they have games rated on their site ahead of time. That also means a launch is a launch date is imminent meaning it's coming out real soon this is the trailers for crash bandicoot um the war the remakes which were pretty dope i had it on my i had my xbox and my playstation um dope 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 set of games but those were remakes this looks to be well not looks to be it is there's never been a crash 4 before and all new crash bandicoot game i'm here for it um coming out on the playstation 4 xbox one and most likely the nintendo switch as well because the remake the trilogy was also on the switch and interesting again to see every game in 2020 cross gen how it's gonna work but i'm here for a new crash bandicoot game day one by easy next news item cyberpunk 277 we got punked on the release date <laughs> because it's been delayed again now here's my thoughts based on the developer's explanation <laughs> the developer said that the game wouldn't have been ready if they released it in september they're saying that they want to make sure the game is ready polished ready to launch and at first, I was like, okay, I can respect that, bro. Y'all want the game to be right when it's launched. Until I see the date that they they delayed it to, <laughs> November 19th. Bro, that's the day right before the rumored PlayStation 5 is supposed to be launched. There's a rumor that said PlayStation 5 coming out November 20th. Xbox Series X most, more than likely going to be coming out around that time. That is right before... Um, the big holiday shopping season. They try to get on that next gen bandwagon, bro. <laughs> I don't care what they say. They could have released this game in September. But with brand new consoles launching, they know people are going to be out. They want new games to play on their console. Voila. Say voila. <laughs> That's why the game has been delayed. <laughs> so you could buy it on your PlayStation 5. <laughs> All right, next news item, Horizon Forbidden West, Horizon 2, Forbidden West. We now have a release date. This is coming from CNET.com. They're saying that the game was going to be hitting the PlayStation 5 in 2021. But here is the stickler. The uh, PlayStation 5's SSD will nearly eliminate loading time so there's going to be pretty much no loading in this game which would be very impressive brah this is a huge open world game with amazing graphics um big assets and so for this to be loading instantly that's gonna be some impressive stuff i've beaten horizon zero dawn um on my playstation 4 
dope, dope, dope game. My one of my favorite stories in a video game. I'm all in for Horizon 2, bro. Can't wait, can't wait, cannot wait. And the news keeps on going, bro. We hitting you with that back to back to back to back. That's why Crash is so hyped. It looks like the pricing of Xbox's next gen consoles have been uh, revealed. This is coming from an article from metro.co.uk. <coughs> They're saying the Xbox Series X will be priced as their mainline console, priced at 400, and the Xbox Series S, the rumored less powerful. They're saying that it's going to be all digital as well will be two hundred dollars bro that is super cheap for two hundred bucks but my thing is i want to see the specs i want to see the specs i'm going to get to the details of the crash bandicoot game um in a second too before i get to this nintendo switch news next but i want to see the specs of the um the s because I'm hearing it's only four teraflops, which my Xbox One X is six teraflops. Yes, I know it has um, newer architecture like the solid state drive, the Navi, Zen, all that stuff. But I want to see it fully revealed, the information, the specs. If it's just all digital in the same exact console as the Xbox Series X, sign me up. I might pick that up day one, even though, come on, 200 bucks, bro. Come on, bro. <laughs> all right. And... Um, next news item, Apex Legends has been officially announced for the Nintendo Switch. And I thought that was pretty dope that they're showing the Switch some love. And what got me even more hyped is its cross-play. Cross-play is coming to Apex Legends this fall across every platform. PC, Switch, Xbox One, PlayStation 4, which is dope. I think next gen, it needs to be the standard. Every game... No matter, and, and it eliminates. Oh, if I buy it on my PlayStation 4, do I have to buy the same game on my place? If it's cross play, just have it. Everybody can play with everybody, bro. Uh, and so the game will be cross play and coming to the Switch in the fall, which I think is pretty dope. And before we leave, I got to give y'all the details for that Crash Bandicoot 4 game. This is the description listing based on the Taiwanese rating board. Crash is relaxing and exploring his island in his time, 1998. Hey, that was around the time. Yeah, that's right. When he finds a mysterious mask hidden away in a cave, Lani Loli. The mask is one of the quantum masks and apparently knows Aku Aku, Crash's mask friend. With the quantum mask returning and the quantum rift appearing near our heroes, they decide to bravely head through to different times and dimensions to stop whoever's responsible. It's going to be some time warping. Bro, that's what Ratchet and Clank is doing, bro. <laughs> warping into dimensions. I want to see if this game is going to utilize the SSD, the solid state drive. But again, that plays off the, the game's name. It's about time. And hey, it's about time because it's been years since we got a, a true sequel. And it's playing off a of time warping. Pretty dope stuff. All right, dudes. What do you guys think about everything we talked about in this video? Sound off in the comment section below. I want to know. But before you go, bro, click that subscribe button. Stay up to date. All oh, things gaming, bro. We out. You still watching this video? That means you like me. You really like me. I got to hook you up. That's right. I'm giving away a $60 digital code every month for your platform of choice. Xbox, Nintendo, or PlayStation. Two ways to enter. One, make sure you're subscribed to this fire right here on YouTube. Two, follow me on Twitter at Obi-Wan Plays. And that's it. You're in for the giveaway. But wait. There's more. Do you want to join an awesome gaming Discord with prizes and tournaments? Do you want to get on my friend list and game with your boy? Become a sponsor. Three ways to join. One, subscribe on Twitch. If you have Twitch Prime, you can do it for free. Two, click the join button right here on YouTube and become a member. And the third way to join, patreon.com backslash Obi-Wan Plays. You'll thank me later. Also, 
check out the swag bro links are in the description i'll see you later deuces